Welcome to Textination. Joining us is Andrew Savori, Vice President of TV Product Marketing at Samsung. Thanks for joining us, Andrew. Oh, thanks for having me, Fred. Big announcement here at CES. You're doing something brand new with a 75 inch screen and a lot more really, but tell us about it. Yeah, so big news for us is probably the first time that we had big news about a smaller screen than normal, uh, but we were able to go ahead and switch up our micro LED technology, getting, getting the pixel pitch much tighter than it's ever been before, to go ahead and get the pixel density right, that we could put this into a 75 inch TV. So as opposed to our 146 inch wall that you saw us introduce last year. And that's been available in the B2B or business yep, market? That's correct, and, and through, we call it through the luxury home cinema market as well. Okay, and this, you're not saying when this is going on sale yet, right? No, we're not. There'll be some announcements on that later on this year. Put into words for us what's special about this and describe the technology and how it's really different. Yeah, certainly. So the whole idea of micro LED is it's self-emissive. So again, that's the, a self-emissive pixel is the best way to actually develop the, the most perfect color and the best contrast. So literally being able to turn pixels on and off. Um, there are, there's another technology out there today that works that way, but it's organic, which means it's, it's performance degrades over time, and it can't always hit the same peak brightness that we're able to hit with a micro LED. So we basically, we solve for better performance and longevity, and on top of that, it consumes about half the power of the competing technology. When you talk about a longer lifespan, can you quantify that at all? What? It just stretches out by years, and we haven't even defined what the end would, would, would be for them. And one of the things that you're showing here is this modular technology yeah, sure. that's behind, I don't know if it's behind it is, this, yeah, yeah. is it behind all of this? So and what, what is it? What does this mean? This is, sounds like a really radical change. Yeah, it, it absolutely is. Because imagine, we've all been in this paradigm up, up until now that a TV, uh, up until the late 90s, a TV was a big square, right? Then it turned into a big rectangle. And then it turns out if you're a consumer, a homeowner, where do I put this big rectangle? And how big of a rectangle can I fit in the house? So now with the modular design, you're kind of freed up from that. As you heard President Han say, you're ratio free. You don't have to go ahead and stick with a traditional 16 by nine or a 32 by nine layout. You're able to go ahead and rearrange these panels in any way you'd want to make sure you've got the information or the entertainment you like anywhere in your home. And is the vision eventually that I as a homeowner would be able to do this myself? Yes, at some point, probably not right out of the box. We think right out of the box, the software will probably be a little more complex than that. But at some point, ideally, yes, I'd love to see this be nothing more than, you know, for lack of a better term, your Legos that you put together and how do you want to assemble those Legos to create any kind of picture that you'd like. Well, it kind of sounds to us and to me like this is going to make a big difference in the way you manufacture screens. Before you had to come up with these perfect 100 inch sure. panels sure. and now, everything is making perfect 12 inch panels sure. and putting them together. Sure, at some point, that should have, that you're absolutely correct. That'll have implications. We're not trying to create a giant sheet of glass here to go ahead and create a panel. So, yep, there absolutely could be some manufacturing efficiencies at some point. And from what I see, what you're showing off here, there's no bezel visible at least at all. Bezel free. I mean, this Completely. Is, I mean, it's not like a thin, exactly. thin bezel, it's, exactly. it's no bezel. And you've heard us talk in the past about thin bezel or virtually virtually bezel free, you know, lots of clever and cute ways to say that, but there, you've seen it, there is no bezel here and that's what allows the pieces to be able to physically join together and create those unique shapes. And you're selling this now, but in the B2B market? Uh, well, we're doing it in the wall, we're doing it in the pre-assembled size, in the 146 inch, uh, but but Go, those are modular, even those hundred, what you have out the there now? Yeah, it's built to the same base configuration, but we're including that as one complete set. Very interesting. Any, if, you know, people are going to hear about this yeah. and wonder, okay, what's it going to cost me? When can I buy it? Sure. Give us some clues, whatever you can. I, yeah, I, I, could, I, I can't tell you that, I can tell you, but then I'd, uh, I'd probably have to kill you. <laughs> um, but yeah, so at some point, look, just like every other technology. Tim like, told me it's fine. <laughs> oh, oh, he said, oh good, as long as Tim and Joe blessed it, it's okay. Um, no, but just like with every technology that we've introduced when it's new, especially, look, this is really the first new TV technology in many years. You know, the price is always going to be a bit prohibitive up front, but we expect that that will become more mainstream as we get, as we get into 2020 and even to 2021. 2030 Black Friday, five hundred dollars, right? Probably two ninety nine at that point, right? <laughs> Absolutely, Ter terrific, very exciting. And what do you about the other technologies that you have? This isn't the only technology you're no, showing of off. Yeah. You're showing off your QLED yep. 
and the new models uh, yeah, of sure. that? Or? Yeah, so right, so right now I think our biggest news outside of this world of micro LED is 8K. So we launched AK late last year. We got it out there in an 85 inch. I'm sure you've seen it out there. But now we're going ahead and expanding that into other sizes. And we think 8K is really going to start going mainstream in 2019. The benefits are there for the consumer. Being able to upscale any content you have in a beautiful 8K resolution, it's a, it's a benefit that every consumer can enjoy. And the key word there is upscaling. How much native 8K content is there out there? Yeah, very little native content at all out there right now. This is all about taking the content that you already have and making it look better. Are we going to start seeing cameras, you think, the way there's so many are shooting 4K video today? We're going to start seeing the 8K. I would imagine, and this, and I always love to go back and reference this. There was a, a line, and I won't say who the journalist was or what the outlet was, but back in 2012 when 4K was first launching, there was this big line. The headline said, For, why 4K TVs are stupid and why you will never need one. <laughs> and we see how much that's changed, right? With native 4K content. See how much they cost, you yeah, know, exactly. and, the, and the local Costco or so, whatever. And so if we look at even what the, the projections were as an industry back then for how quickly 4K would grow, it, it grew exponentially versus what the original estimates were. It, it, 8K, it's going to happen. The panel makers are getting there. It's going to happen. Terrific stuff. For more info, where can folks go? At any time, of course, you can go to Samsung.com. I uh, think a lot of what's being shown out here following our press our press event tomorrow should be available out on the website. Uh, information on the new AK sets will be out there as well. And uh, again, just best bet is just to stay tuned in there. And, and for now, we're going to have to make do for seeing this new technology here. That's it. Exactly. Exactly. Andrew Savori, thank you for taking the time with us. Thanks very much, Fred. Appreciate it. Now this. How many companies out there have continued to innovate when it comes to building a better radio? I'm Fred Fishkin, host of Textonation, and I'm here to tell you about the new CC SkyWave SSB radio from the wonderful people at C-Crane. Bob and his crew really love radio, and it shows in this new compact model that is packed with features. Beyond great AM and FM reception and sound, you can tune into shortwave signals from around the world. Listen to ham radio operators, aviation, and more. It's the radio you'll turn to every day and in emergencies. It will run for nearly three days on just two AA batteries. Pair the sleep timer with the new Soft Speaker 3, and you've got the perfect radio for your nightstand. Of course, it can wake you up too. Click on Ccrane at Textonation.com and put in the code Textonation for a free flashlight with your order. They love radio. And you'll love Sea Crane.